In partnership with AllFreeSewing.com, today I'm bringing you a double tutorial. First, you'll learn a technique for printing on fabric. Then, I'll show you how to make a set of soft fabric baby blocks. Begin by cutting a piece of muslin to 8.5 by 11 inches. This is the same size as a regular sheet of paper. Next, spray a piece of cardstock with a spray adhesive. Then, let it dry for 3 minutes. It should be a little bit tacky. Then press the fabric to the cardstock, smoothing out any wrinkles. Now we'll get the photos ready for printing. You can make the blocks any size you want, but for the blocks I made, I printed photos that were 3.5 inches, 4.5 inches, and 5.5 inches. First, crop your photo to a square shape. Then you can desaturate the photo to black and white if you'd like. I printed two photos of each of those sizes. Next, open a word processing program. Copy and paste the photo to the page. Then right click to format the picture and type in the exact dimensions that you would like. Once you have six square photos, you can print. Depending on your printer, you may want to change the settings to accommodate the heaviest weight of paper your printer can handle, such as photo paper or cardstock. Now to cut the fabric. Layer four different patterns of fabric together. You'll want to cut the squares the same size as your photos, so I'm cutting squares that are five and a half inches, four and a half inches, and three and a half inches. Now your fabric should look something like this. Next, peel the printed fabric off of the paper. Cut out the photos, making sure they're the same size as the fabric squares you cut. Now iron the photos on high heat without steam. This helps to set the ink. I've gotten these pictures wet, and the ink didn't smear, although I haven't tried washing them in a washing machine. Now lay out the fabrics for a block. Pin a photo and a fabric right sides together and sew with the 1 4 inch seam. Then pin on the next fabric, right sides together, and sew. Pin on the fourth piece and sew to complete the strip. Now fold in half so one raw end meets the other raw end. Pin in place and sew together. Then, layer another square of fabric on top of your cube. Fold inward against one side, so the top edges of the fabric are aligned. Pin in place and sew. Repeat for the remaining three sides. Now we'll add the final side to your block. Sew it on the same way you did with the last piece, but leave a 2-inch hole unsewn 
so that we can turn it right side out. Turn your block right side out and poke out all of the corners. Then stuff it with polyfill batting. Finally, sew up the hole on the block. If you use a ladder stitch, your hand sewing won't be very visible. Finally, roll the edges of the block between your fingers to help the stuffing settle and to give the block a squarer shape. Baby will love looking at the familiar faces on these blocks. For more project ideas and tutorials, visit www.madebymarzipan.com.